Alright guys, welcome to this module. I'm going to take you through a brief history of the t-shirt and um, I hope you get one or two things from this module. Alright, let's move on. Actually, the t-shirt appeared in the early years of 20th century in the US Navy, okay, about 1913 and it began to be worn as an undergarment. So, and back then only men could wear it. And much later women also began to wear it so we're going to see that okay the t-shirt wasn't called t-shirt in the early days but then a little bit later it began to be called t-shirt because of the style because of the distinctive t-shaped design all right so it became an outer garment from the 1930s and companies began to use the t-shirt they began to print and produce t-shirts for commercial purposes okay it was it's similar actually similar to the modern plain t-shirt and could be worn as an un outer garment as an outer garment or as an underwear all right so late like i said earlier later on ladies began to wear it also uh during world war ii if you can recall this movie called pearl harbor you will, you will actually see that they were wearing t-shirts yeah they were wearing t-shirts as, as an underwear okay all right so during world war ii women began to do things that men were used to doing all right so the clothing this particular t-shirt were worn by male and females and uh, even companies like sears produced their own catalog and that women so celebrities even helped to push the t-shirt they wore the t-shirts they helped to you know <coughs> excuse me to create publicity for the t-shirts so that even made the t-shirts more popular all right even presidents were not left out as um one of the u.s presidents back then used the t-shirt extensively during his campaign um, printed um his campaign you know slogan and it all right, so this even made the t-shirts even more popular okay so actually back then uh, there were printing technologies back then like plastisol and um, tie and tie tie dyeing okay so about 1960s and people began to print t-shirts you know in and it was fashionable to wear bright colors back then so uh, t-shirts became a means of self-expression and um, it was worn during protests you know, for commercial ads and um, the popularity of t-shirts even exploded even further all right so since then the t-shirt has evolved it has come a long way and uh, i'm not gonna say everything that happened back then but this is just like a brief history of what t-shirt how the t-shirt came to be as we know it today okay so the t-shirts what we know as t-shirts or t-shirts have have become a fashion item today and um, it has given rise to what we call the print on demand industry okay so i'm going to explain in brief what print on demand means and um what it can do and I, I, that is the reason why you are on this course today yeah because you want to get into the print on demand industry you want to make some money selling t-shirts online all right so so how does it work <coughs> now the high point of a print on demand um, business is to eliminate mass production yeah that is the the distinctive of um a distinctive of the print on demand industry to eliminate mass production of products at the end of the day to make sure that the customer only gets sorry the company only gets to produce what the customer ordered for all right so that is what separate makes print on demand different from the regular you know um, t-shirt business so when a customer places an order on an online store the order goes straight to the fulfillment company and they print on the t-shirt blank t-shirts the 
package it and they send it straight to the customer and that's it they don't need to produce must produce a particular design and store it and wait for the customers to buy them off so that is what makes print on demand special so here's a short video clip welcome to one of the biggest t-shirt printing factories in europe we're in albany on the isle of wight and today we're going to take a tour of this t-shirt printing factory show you how print on demand works and what we do at T-Mill to make it sustainable. In the past, products were produced speculatively. That means you'd have to buy a whole load of stock and just hope that it's sold. So a lot of brands ended up as dead stock shoved behind someone's sofa. Print on demand is different. You can design all your products and put them online as data. So every time someone places an order, it'll be printed in seconds and shipped to your customer and you'll get all the profit. It's a really exciting opportunity because it means that normal people can start a brand with no startup investment, no cost, and using just their phone. Print on demand is more efficient because there's no overproduction, there's no waste. 72% of people are actively buying more sustainable products now than they did in 2017. I find that stat so reassuring because it means that things are changing and now you can be part of that change. Big business is slow to respond to this new demand. So there's an opportunity for small, agile startups to build a business here. At T-Mill, we go beyond print on demand to bring you products that are made sustainably from the start. We only use natural materials like organic cotton. All of our factories like this one are powered by renewable energy and we're a carbon neutral company. And here's the real game changer. Everything we make is designed from the start to be sent back and remade into new products at the end of its life. We've developed lots of our own technology to allow us to print things sustainably, quickly and in high quality. Let's take a look at how a t-shirt is printed. These printers work just like your printers at home, printing line by line and mixing all the colors in real time so there's no waste and no sink. From the time that a customer places an order to the time that it's printed and shipped out to them is only a couple of minutes. So this item is being printed now, but it didn't even exist two minutes ago. Now the t-shirt's been printed, it gets placed onto one of these totes. That's another really exciting part of our tech. New concepts require new technologies. So we've built these robots that help us move things around the factory so our team don't have to do any heavy lifting. What they need comes to them. This way we create efficiencies that help us save 30% of the cost of packing and shipping. Then we can take that money and invest it in things like this sustainable plant-based packaging. So the robots bring the orders all the way down to the packing stations where they're packed and shipped out to your customers. One of the most important things to us as a business is accessibility. If we want to change how things are made, we have to allow people access to those new systems. So we've built all of this tech and now we're sharing it with you so that you can build your business sustainably. Setting up your account, making a website and store and making sales is all free with T-Mill. So join thousands of other people building their businesses on tmill.com. Okay, so that's that little video. All right, let's move on. So will t-shirts ever go out of fashion? Uh, I don't think so. So this course is gonna help you understand what it takes to start, to manage and be successful in running this business. Okay, so you're gonna learn a lot if you can just stick with me and um, have some notes like I like I told you, have some hand, notes handy, some notebooks handy so that you can actually write down what you learn and um, it's gonna help you. If you don't want to write some notes, you can always refer to these videos if you are missing something along the way. Okay, all right, so now let's look at this chart here. It shows you that a print on demand, what we call print on demand or custom t shirt printing, the market is exploding. Okay, since 2020 uh, till 2030, it is projected that. Um, this this um this industry is going to keep growing exponentially 
it's going to keep growing okay so there is no need to panic this business is not going to be taken over by ai <laughs> like it's happening right now but in most other industries but i think ai is going to help us as a business person is ai is there to help you to get better designs okay like one of our modules is dedicated to how ai can help you to be more productive to make more money okay all right so this industry is growing i will keep growing there's no stopping it so you are just at the right place and at the right time okay thank you for taking your time to go through this and i'll see you in the next one